Hi everyone, Jenny here. Sorry it's been a while. Um, so I'm now doing my Christmas cards. Start it just started actually. So I've just taken a piece of blue cardstock that's cut at eight and a quarter by six. We don't get the eight and a half by eleven here, so we'll have to make do with what we've got. Okay, so I've done that, then I've ran this piece of red cardstock, which was cut just an eighth of an inch um, smaller all round, and I've run it through the Crafters to You um, embossing folder called Baubles. Okay, so that's what it looks like there. Okay, now what I want to do with that is run my embossing, my Versamark, over the top of it, but not on the actual card itself, or like on the background. So, just take my embossing buddy there, run it over, now we'll try and get this Versamark to just... touch those raised areas. don't think it's going to work, but we can try. Let's see how that goes. It was very lightly done. Alright, so I'm going to take, I think I might take silver. Embossing powder. And let's see what it looks like. Not too bad, bit of a mess, I guess. Could probably live with that. Need to get a paintbrush. Okay. Start wiping it away. with that though I think um, I just get some black ink for this mm, yeah black ink all right and stamp it on this this is a um, Dynamics die. Uh, what's it called? The layered labels. Merry Christmas. Now what I want to do with that one is maybe ink around the edges with the silver embossing powder so I'm just gonna go around the edges with this versa mark <laughs> there and one present there. I like this one. I might turn it around and just cut it off and have it in there. Okay, let's see.
Um, now, earlier I used my Copic Monk Marker R29 red and I went around the edges of that um, string now so it looked like candy cane and now I'm just going to on that. Okay. And eight set it. for watching guys any questions just leave a comment down there bye